Hi, welcome to Seymour's World Commentary. The title of our show today is Can You Do the Impossible? What does impossible really mean? Is anything truly impossible? Humans can't fly, but the Wright brothers proved an airplane could get us close enough. When I think about the impossible, I don't really worry much about the undoable. I know I can't jump off a cliff and start flying. I know I can't close my eyes and teleport myself to China. Picture for a second your own life and your own dreams. What are those things that you've always wanted to do that seem completely impossible? Now hold that thought for a second. Is it actually impossible? Or does it just feel impractical because you don't think you can't do it? Possible for someone else, perhaps, but not for you? There's the problem. And the solution, believe it or not, isn't all that complicated. It's commitment. The number one thing you must have in order to do the impossible is commitment. It comes before planning and action and everything else. It's the hardest thing to come by. But without it, all else is wasted. So what is commitment? Merriam-Webster defines it as the state of being obligated or emotionally compelled. Commitment in my mind is the resolution to succeed. It's the burning desire that absolutely has to be present in order to do your impossible. It's the drive that keeps you moving forward when defeat looks certain. It's your obligation to risk everything for success because living without it seems pointless. When you commit, you have to commitment to do. You can't commitment to, you can't commit to try. Committing to try doesn't work. Committing to try means you'll give it your best, and if, you, if it doesn't work out, it wasn't meant to be. When you're doing the impossible, things don't work out because you tried. They work out because you kept trying and never give up. What does it take to commit? Clearly, the main reason people are afraid to commit is to something is because they don't know what it will require. It's never completely obvious what you're signing up for. You might think that if you really want something, then it shouldn't matter, because I don't think that's true. The cost does matter. So what is the actual cost? Sure, in any commitment, whether it's business or, pers or personal, there's a leap into the uncertain. But the idea that there's no way to know what's required is more of an excuse than a real barrier. Those are the questions you have to ask yourself. When you come to a conclusion, it's a lot easier to look at your impossible dream and say, yes, that's worth it, or no, I'm not willing to pay that price. Either answer is fine. But making that decision based on real analysis instead of fear is important. So my friends, can you do the impossible? Let me know. Thank you for watching Seymour's World Commentary on ThinkTech Hawaii. I would love to read your comments. Aloha.